welcome back pisces this is your reading if you are new here stop what you're doing you know subscribe like this video check your girl out all right i'm ashley lord this is my channel we're gonna go ahead and get right into this reading all right if you do want to book your personal reading check out my store um catch up your girl you know show love um check out any of my links all right they're all down below also anything you need to know about this reading is all down below we both have masculine and feminine interest in us all okay pisces and i did see your last reading i just want to slow down for you guys because some of you guys are a little hard of hearing all right i do speak a little fast because i am from up north all right and i have anxiety but anyways we're going to go ahead and get into this all right first things first okay let me move these out the way because first things first i do want to get you guys some oracle cards so we're going to go ahead and get you guys some oracle we're going to go into the cannabis oracle here for you guys all right and we're going to see what's going on all right if you are smoking or you're a smoker comment your favorite strain down below all right or comment your favorite smoking emoji but let's get right into this you guys like this video like this live and we do have this song playing okay by cyber call so and so all right so let's get right into this here for you guys pisces i love y'all all right so the first card we have is your actual card the chariot card okay the pisces water sign energy it's one 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 all right, so also, um, this talks about, um, it says your point, you are at a point of arrival, okay, Pisces, it says your willpower and focus have paid off, all right, so cherry card, I'm getting like, either somebody's moving towards you, I'm getting like, whatever move you, um, made here, I'm hearing that song, on the way, doom, 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 on the way, like, I'm getting your on the way, or with the Northern Lights energy, I'm getting you're going through an awakening, all right, I don't know why I'm getting the, um, the flashback to Simpsons, on the Simpsons movie, when he had lost his wife or whatever, she left him, and he went to the lady, um, he wants to see the lady, okay, and she was a spiritual lady, yeah, right yeah also we have this song by, by drake called um champagne poetry playing all right but let's go ahead and get you guys two more cards here that is an indica strain comment down below if you ever heard the northern lights heard of it or have had it all right but we have super lemon haze okay so the will of fortune you're about to just have a good karma blessing or i'm getting something that was rightfully yours going to come back around for you come around for you all right i'm getting you closing out a karmic cycle here all right or i'm getting like um you're avoiding one all right it says changes in the air don't stop the movement decide on direction all right remember that song please don't stop the music okay I don't know what I'm hearing. Mama say, Mama say, Mama kusa. Okay, want to be starting something. Something is being started up for you. Somebody could try to start for you. And I'm hearing, eh, eh. All right, you told them no. And it's also a, a sativa strain, by the way. All right, so I'm getting like you in your own vibe, you in your own echelon here, Pisces. All right, other people are viewing you. We have the last card, which is Strawberry Diesel. I've actually never had this. All right, let me know if you guys have had it before. All right, it's a hybrid strain, but it's, it's a sun card the highest car in the deck here i'm getting like you're gassed up but people can't even pay their gas bill or their light bill here pisces all right i'm getting like people are worried about you all right they want to gas you giving them smoke okay yeah you giving them that smoke okay no smoke no smoke they do not want it okay it's a sun card because everything is just fine don't worry enjoy the moment luck is on your side and it's definitely right here pisces all right comment down below if you feel this way or if it's resonating for you go ahead and like this video it is free come and fuck with me but you guys this is looking amazing for you guys all right so i'm saying whatever change whatever you made i'm hearing that song every step i take i think that's how it go every mm, i make okay yeah i'm getting like pisces i don't know what the fuck you did but it's it's taking like you know how you first go up the hill of a roller coaster like you're all at the top chunk a chunk a chunk yeah i'm getting like you're dominating this cycle whatever you have going on you're dominating i'm getting like the proof is in the pudding okay at the bottom of the deck, we have Hangman. You are not at a crossroads. Let go to achieve a new point of view here, okay? And at the top, we do have Granddaddy Perp, okay? And it's in the Indica. It says High Priest's Energy. The answer you seek lies deep inside you. Embrace the divine feminine aspect. Surrender is the universe to just flow. Let everything flow. All right, I'm hearing that song. Let it snow. Mm. Let it snow. Oh, baby. I think that's how it goes but this is the hybrid here mango kush by the way the hangman that is your actual card all right pisces but this looks freaking amazing i love these cards for you guys most of them are hybrids here we have two hybrids two indicas and one sativa i'm getting like all this it stands back to the will of fortune which is a sativa strain all right but anyways we're gonna put those to the side here all right let's go ahead and get you guys some kipper cards all right so first things first this is the general reading take it however it's to use your um intuition to your goddess can be half of your story part of your story 50 percent we have a message in here for you this is for all pisces placements sun moon rising venus north node mars and mercury let's get you guys five cards here all right the number of today is five and whenever you see this the number is five here you could be seeing five 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 but there's a lot of beautiful shifts changes and things going on behind the scenes for you guys i'm hearing it it looks amazing we also have the pathway card here which is the number 35 here okay yeah 
I have official person here, Pisces. This is the number 22. I have the number 10 card, which is the journey card. All right, and I have this number 6 card, which is the mature woman. All right, let's get another card here for you guys, Pisces. Yeah, I'm being like, um, you know how they say um, pressure busts pipes, but they don't talk about diamonds. You know, pressure pressure is for diamonds, too. You need pressure to make diamonds here, all right? Yeah, I'm getting like, it may be weighing on you, but I'm getting like you're a diamond here with the setting wealth card at the bottom of the deck. We have the number 29, all right? So I'm getting like you're coming towards setting wealth, but something is setting wealth is going to be yours, rightfully yours here. All right, with this, with this privileged lady or mature woman here, you could be the privileged lady, man or female or whatever. You have 11 and 12. Uh, I don't know why that's of significance here, all right? Somebody could definitely be co-parent of the year. I'm getting like you're doing an amazing job. Um, If you have an issue with your child here, I'm getting like your parenting or you're trying co-parenting or your parenting all alone, single mother, single father, I just want you to know that you're doing an amazing job here, all right? Um, also, we have the numbers 35, 22, 10, 6, and 29. This could be of significance here for somebody out there, all right? Yeah, but here's the number 35. It talks about the pathway. Butterflies could be significant. So I'm getting like you may have butterflies here, okay? Going towards a new beginning or I'm getting a new shift and change all right around you. It could definitely be um, regarding your official person here. It could be somebody in power here. All right, or some type of um, notoriety, some type of uh, status, windfall, or this could be you. All right, also with the number 22, I'm getting things are balanced out. For some of you guys here to come into union as well, take it how it resonates, or you could already be with your person, or somebody who you view your official person here. They don't have to be a soulmate or a divine counterpart. They can just be somebody who you really care for and think it's going well, all right? Yeah. And then we have the number 10 card that talks about your journey, your pathway, all aboard, trains. I'm hearing baggage, pack, light, okay? They're also, these are karmic people who are from your past or karmic cycles and things of like that nature. Somebody here who's um, watching all this going on here on an onlooker, all right? We also have the number six, which talks about mature women. It's going to be like somebody who's older in age, a spirit guide, all right? Somebody here who has um, a head on their shoulders here, all right? You could be the mature man, mature woman, you know, flip it how you need to. All right, and we have the number 29 here, Pisces, for imprisonment. Okay, so imprisonment, spiritual jail, physical jail. I'm hearing upheaval moments. I'm hearing, um, I'm thinking about a rat to do anything for shadow here. Somebody's getting the wrong information, leading them to, uh, how do you say, um, what is it called, dead end, all right? I have the letters H, C, and M. They could be a significance for somebody here. Somebody could definitely have plastic on their couch here, or relative does. Somebody could wear a lot of blue or red here, okay? I'm getting like somebody wears a lot of purple as well. You could have a lot of trauma or baggage here. You may not have a lot or somebody you're dealing with does. Yeah, butterflies could be significant. Somebody could have a, a butterfly tattoo. I'm getting like um, somebody's very spontaneous. It's like a butterfly. I mean, they're as strong as a butterfly, but it's sweet as a rose. You know how they say butterflies' wings um, are very, how they say, powerful. They can create a whole entire, um, what is it called, I think, tornado or something like that, all right, from afar. Also, um, you need to go watch the movie Butterfly Effect here, Pisces, all right? But I have this song Netflix and Duce playing, all right, by um, Smino. All right, I've actually never heard this before. My music is on shuffle. All right, y'all, give me one second. I feel like my lips are so dry, all right? I'm, I am using the Revolution. I make a Revolution um, pout bomb, all right? Love this. I swear by it. My lips are already big, but I just need a little bit of this. It is minty. It's not sticky either. I hate sticky lip gloss. All right, but let's get into this, you guys. So I'm going to pull some cards on these. What cards am I going to use? If you're wondering, I'm going to use my Truth Rising deck here if I can find it. Where is it? I think it's behind the camera, y'all. Give me one second. There we go. So it was behind the camera. There we go. So, Pisces, let's get right into this. All right, so first things first, we're going to go to the Truth Rising deck for you. All right, but um, before I do that, actually, I want to use the Tarot deck first. Let's use the Tarot deck first, okay? I'm just telling me to use tarot first. So I'll use that, all right, Pisces? All right, so let's get into it. I'm going in with my golden tarot deck or my gold tarot deck, all right? So let's get right into it. I have 999, all right? That's the number for somebody here. Go look up that um, angel number. All right, a lot of big shift changes and things going on for you guys. I don't know, the energy is very, very lightweight, or it's giving, like, I'm hearing sweet, or it's giving, like, Katy Perry, um, um, California Girls energy, like that song, I'm hearing that, I don't know why, alright, somebody can be from Cali, where y'all at, where y'all from, alright, um, anyways, let's get into this pathway card, the number 35, alright, let's see what's going on with your pathway, and you see how I just, you see, I'm gonna get, this is the, all the stuff is a catalyst for your pathway here, alright, for somebody out there, cause I just moved that pathway card, and all the cards shifted, alright, I don't know if you guys have seen that, 
But let's get into this pathway card, the number 35. Let's get some cards on that. What's going on in your pathway? We have the lover's card. Of verse. Could be a Gemini that you're dealing with here. I'm getting like you're at a crossroads with a lover or a friend, somebody you um, deem um, that you love or care for. But I'm seeing the lover's card of verse here. Why is that there? We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Six of Wands and the Three of Cups in reverse. I'm getting like also some of you guys, um, I'm getting like there's a... It could be like a relationship here or something regarding a loved one, somebody who you hold dear. It could be like a friend, lover, relationship, whatever. But I'm getting like, they're not who they say they are. I'm getting like, their love comes with a twist here. Also with the Queen of Swords, I'm getting like, you may have to cut this off here. I'm getting like, somebody show, um, could be an air sign here, okay? I'm getting like, also, you could have to tell somebody to give them peace of your mind here, all right? Because they're blocking your pathway here. This is what going to do to you. I'm seeing with the Six of Wands energy, this would not be a victory, um, either for you or them. Um, flip it how you need to. I'm also seeing with the Three Cups here, you may be going through a disappointment time or disappointing time i'm going to be part of the journey here for somebody all right let's see what's going on with this pathway here we have the death card so i'm getting like somebody tried to have their cake and eat it too i'm getting like or win the battle but you won the war here or this could be you winning the battle here not realizing that um no i think this is them winning the battle not realizing that this is a part of your pathway you let them win or you let somebody have something i'm getting like if you were in a conversation or you were going through a situation this could be at work home whatever i've just seen 11 11 i'm getting like you letting somebody have or you letting somebody think they have the upper hand here is going to give you a blessing here going to grant you your wish or grant you something all right i'm hurry non-reactive non-reactive see i'm seeing the chemical table or the periodic table all right i don't know why Hold on. Let's get another card here for the Pisces. All right, so we have the Sagittarius card, the Temperance Patience card. All right, so I'm seeing um, Divine Time is working on getting like whatever you've been doing here. I'm hearing you've been following the yellow brick road, okay, like on the movie The Wiz. All right, I'm getting like you're going to get your wish or whatever you're wishing for, whatever you're waiting for on your pathway is waiting there for you or whoever it is they're waiting there for you i'm getting like you also open up or i'm getting you're becoming enlightened here i'm getting your third eye chakra is um either overly active i'm getting like it's learning to become active normally also i'm getting like you're you're learning your, you're getting your sea legs or i'm getting like you're getting your wings okay you know how they say red bull gives you wings i'm getting like something is giving you wings or somebody's giving you wings here or you have a newfound um perspective that's giving you wings here i'm getting like you can create anything water into wine all right i'm getting like you're focused on yourself right now you should be all right but I also see you tiptoeing or stepping out into some type of new territory. All right, but just be careful that um, if you jump in that water, make sure you can swim here. You are a water sign, so I don't doubt that. But just make sure, um, you know, these aren't murky waters and they're crystal clear. All right, or you know what's in these waters, okay? Yeah, also we have the seven of wands. I do see you keeping your shit together here. You're crossing your teeth and dotting your eyes here. That looks fucking amazing. Spirit is loving that. All right, while somebody else is, it's like somebody's a total opposite of you, all right? And what song is about Drake? It's called the Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Somebody can like Lemon Pepper Hot Wings here, or like the seasoning here. I'm getting like you have on your Lemon Pepper Steppers here, and you're ready for a new beginning. You're ready for something new. Yeah, we have the five wands reverse. Somebody could definitely, um, you could have had conflict with somebody, but it's going to come to an agreement or resolution. Also, or this could be a situation at work, home, whatever, okay? Friend, family, lover, whatever. Also, with the five of wands here in reverse, I'm getting like somebody could have tried to have you in competition with somebody here as well, or competing for a role competing for a job or competing for something all right but i'm getting like what you doing what you're supposed to be doing here let's get a card on that uh, i see going really, really well i see with the force war so you might have to put some, some type of something to rest here this could be like um a way of thinking here a way of viewing things i'm getting like also if you do have um differences with somebody um it could be because of spiritualness i'm getting like if you're spiritual they're not i'm getting like something that is dead or something that that has ended here all right pisces i'm getting like the tower card of verse you were resisting the change here or oh, somebody else was all right and you were ready to end it yeah i'm seeing the cups could be somebody from your past something from your past or a karma cycle that came up to try to test you in the past okay yeah with the nine of cups at the bottom of the deck and the six of pentacles here and, and the four of pentacles of verse you don't have the penny pinch because you have money coming towards you but somebody's karma is they're not getting it because they're being sneaky i'm getting like two of cups you had a mutual attraction to them or vice versa also with the nine of cups here pisces and the, um six of pentacles i could view you as somebody here who everybody wants a piece of i'm getting like justice skills could be a libra here i'm getting like um you're learning to um give and take here i'm getting you know your worth all right or you've just not learned it Nine of Cups energy, you have a lot of accomplishments either coming towards you if you've already completed them, all right? I mean, like, people view you as somebody here who's very successful or very, how do you say, um, I'm here, like, very warranted. Like, everybody wants to be see you, everybody wants to be around you. But there's a Queen of Cups energy looking at you, men or female Queen of Cups. The person here is, like, a mother energy. They're very loving, all right? I'm getting, like... They embody everything that you would want in a lover, okay, or a friend, or uh, somebody here who's good or for you, okay? Anyways, we have this official person card here. Let's go into this. Let's see what this official person card is about here, all right? 
don't know why, but this Queen of Cups keeps looking at me like Pisces. Pisces is, is calling out to me. I don't know why. But let's see what's going on with this official person in your life. Whoever this person is, the Eight of Pentacles, I'm getting like they work a lot here. Or, or I'm getting like they want to put in a lot of work with you. I'm getting like this person, um, they, they work a lot, okay? I'm getting like they, they try the hardest to make things work out here. But whoever this person is, let's see. But you could actually work with them. I'm seeing with the Ten of Pentacles here. You guys are going to come into great fortune. Sure. I'm getting like whoever this person is. I'm getting like you may have a family with them or you may about to have a family with them, Pisces, for somebody else here. But also, if you whoever this person is, I'm getting like they see you as I'm getting a golden opportunity or they're going to give you a golden opportunity here. Okay, we also have the Page of Pentacles of Earth. I'm getting like somebody tried to give you a small opportunity or something like this and take it back or something like that, not knowing that you're going to be gifted a, a, a golden opportunity. Why do I need a page, a childish ass? small as offer a breadcrumb when i can have the whole loaf okay i'm like you're gonna have the whole loaf with your official person whoever this person is well it's trying to breadcrumb you five of pentacles in the judgment card they're going through karma right now i'm getting like whoever this person is who tried to breadcrumb you with anything it's gonna be like an offer a raise um a love i'm getting like um a truth or like um experiences or um a good time you know whatever, whatever's going on you know your story i don't this is general reading okay if you want a personal reading click the link down below in my description box all right, but I'm getting with the magician card here. You're able to, to manifest what you want. You're manifesting your official person here with the tennis towards the verse. I'm getting like you both have been through the ringer here. I'm getting tennis towards the verse here. Somebody wants something to end with you or somebody was resisting change here. All no, they got called out for their bullshit. I'm getting like somebody wanted your help. I'm getting now you are the queen of pentacles. You're married or female. All right, you could be calling in a queen of pentacles. I see two queens, a queen of cups and a queen of pentacles. But the queen of pentacles is here. All right, this one came out and this is facts here, okay? But I'm getting like whoever this is, they know their worth, they know their value here. I'm getting like they know yours too. Person can have good sex here, or you do. I'm getting like this person here, they just know the value. They are valuable. They're high value, okay? Yeah, we have the journey card here. It's number 10. Let's see what's going on with your journey, all right? Yeah, I just heard Drake say, if you have a problem with me, you gotta walk around it. So, you could be telling people this, or they, they realize this, that nothing can stop you. We have the Justice card reverse. I'm getting like, anybody who did you wrong in your journey, or anybody who's who's karmically in your way, or I'm getting like, anybody who tried to do some kind of injustice to you, it's being fixed here, it's being tailored to you. I'm hearing tailor made. All right, because look at this. You see people who are onlookers in the background here. I'm getting these people are in the background here. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Everything's going in your favor. I'm getting like, so my name is with an F or a W here, or a C or an M, okay, or an O, okay. Or an H or a C. All right, I'm going to see what the four of cups here. Somebody may have not um, want to give you a chance or offer, but I'm getting like, um, don't worry about it because it's going to blow up in their face. If they're going to wish they did. They're going to come rushing in with a new offer, Ace of Wands, but I'm getting like, you're not going to want it. I'm seeing with the Harfin card reverse. They try to come up against you, or I'm getting like, to try to overthrow you, whatever, not knowing that you have the last say so, or whoever's over top of you guys. It could be like a boss, a manager, okay, uh, a maternal, paternal figure, okay, the most high universe, whatever. Karma, Dady, Orisha, somebody, somebody tried to do something here, not knowing that it was going to have a backfire. The Ace of Wands, now they're trying to bring you a new offer, what they want to beginning with you guys. I'm seeing you're on your journey already. If you're already on your journey, um, be careful these offers you're getting here. It may sound a little good to be true. I'm getting people want to come back around, get back energy. Also, I'm seeing with the Nine of Swords here and the King of Cups of Earth. Somebody here who's um, emotionally, mis um, I don't know why I want to say misogynistic here, or like they were sexist, or they thought they were better than you, or like classes, or um, emotionally deceptive here, or manipulative, or um, I'm getting like using emotions against you. Or this person is, they're not crying over this, or I'm getting it crying, or eating that shit up. They're having a lot of nightmares, fears, anxieties. I'm getting like they can't sleep at night, or I'm getting like their, their mental conflict here. Whoever this person is, they were hurt. Yeah, because I'm getting like they wanted to attend a cup with you, but I'm getting wanted to buy their any means. I'm getting like you could have wanted this here and they didn't take the offer when they had it, all right? I'm getting like somebody's mad that you also could be going to attend a cup or you're going to say union here, Pisces, okay? You're not really starting nobody. Yeah, I'm getting like the secret reveal. I'm getting like this is a secret here. Somebody want to attend a cup with you. They want to laugh. They want a long term. They want a house on the picket fence, house on the hill. Somebody wanted to be a long term friend. They want to be a long term lover. Somebody would definitely want this to be a long term opportunity or whatever they had going on with you, all right? Yeah. What's your journey? But I'm getting like you're moving forward here. You're moving on. If somebody has something they really want to tell you here. All right. But I'm getting like they're watching from afar. I'm getting like they're just going to back up and um, leave you alone silently here. You have the seven pentacles. They know they weren't doing you right or doing right by you. Or I'm getting putting in the work. Or I'm getting reciprocating your bomb ass energy. Anyways, you have the six of cups here. It talks about this mature woman. So let's see what's going on with this mature woman here. Whoever this mature woman is with the nine of cups, she is very self sufficient here. She views you as this. 
Okay, well, I'm getting like, if you're the mature woman here, all right, there could definitely be somebody here is bringing you a fish. She has offering yourself sufficient, but they want to bring you a fish in a cup when a fish goes in the water or a fish goes in the sea. You know how they always say, there's another fish in the sea. This fish here is in the fuck out of water. I'm getting this fish is out of water. They're out of water here. Like, you know, I see a fish out of water. Like, something that's very odd. It's like an odd offer you're being offered here. Or you could be doing this to a mature woman, all right, or they're doing this to you, or vice versa. Also, whoever this mature woman is, I see she views as somebody who's very sufficient here. You may not have the best love life here. I'm saying, like, yourself sufficient monetarily. I'm getting like, Everything is going good for you, okay? Let's see another card here. Yeah, I have the Queen of Cups here. So whoever this mature woman is, I'm getting like she's the Queen of Cups here, but somebody's showing up with a page offer here. I'm seeing the Sagittarius with card reverse here, okay? So patience reversed, okay? How do you say this isn't really going well? I'm getting like this mature woman's watching all this go down. Who this mature woman? This could be like a mother or somebody. I don't know. But this mature woman is, I'm getting like she's watching you. She knows exactly who you are and she knows who's a good match for you. All right. I'm seeing with the Ace of Cups. Um, at this time, she could be telling you to just focus on yourself. Or I'm getting like you can focus on yourself now. What this mature woman is, I'm getting like she views you as self sufficient here. And she wants to come and bring you an offer. Okay, this could be like a um friend, family, lover, whoever. What this is, I'm seeing something's good too. It'd be true. She's promising you something. She's trying to act like she has something for you when it's nothing. All right, yeah, I'm seeing with the um, Queen of Cups here, there's a better offer. This is somebody who has a better something for you. I'm getting like divine timing that play here, so you have to wait for that. What song is this? I believe it's by Earth Gang. All right, but it's called Sacrifices here. And it's about Dreamville, Earth Gang, J. Cole, Smino, and Saba. They're all in it. These are my favorite artists. All right, very um, intellectual artists here. They're all spiritual, all right? Yeah, the number, the letter S could be a significance here, but we have the hangman reverse. This is you. All right, so it's it's like here Pisces here. Somebody tried to keep you hung up. I'm getting like somebody tried to hang you up and it's offer or offer you something that can hang you up. I mean, a mature woman could have um a hand in this, or somebody knows about this or whatever. But I'm getting this offer is not right. Okay, think about it is not right. With the Empress card reverse. The person has the Empress card reverse here. Whoever tried to offer you a little fishy ass offer, but we have the Queen of Cups here. I'm getting like, do not make a move towards this person here. It is my true, not making a move towards you or somebody. Just don't make a fucking move here. Seven is four. something more going on with me. So, I right. seven is three and ten. Seven is three. So, I'm getting like, something you're gonna find out. This person be a sneaky or conniving or they do multiple people or so something going on more than me. So, I but you're gonna figure out about it and it's gonna close yourself out. Yeah, and then I also see you giving an offer to somebody here. All right, or you finally bring an offer. All right, with the Knight of, Cups, Knight of Cups energy, all right? After you get your priorities and things in order with somebody else. I'm seeing the Virgo moment. Somebody's in a hermit mode right now. All right? Yeah. Somebody ass could be fake. I'm seeing the Nine of Wands. Somebody's undecided here. Oh, you know seeing? I feel like it's being undecided because divine timing is working out right now. It's mature woman. We also have the number 29 here. All right, it's talks about um, imprisonment here. So I'm getting like somebody here, Aries um, card of verse. I'm getting like somebody who thought there was an emperor here. I'm getting they're at a dead end. I'm getting like they're being closed off or cut off. They could be in spiritual jail or physical jail. Whoever this person is, I'm getting like they didn't, they would, they, um, how do you say, don't make a move towards them. I'm getting like they're not moving here. They're just standing watching. They're going through bad karma. They're going through, I'm hearing they're reaping what they sowed. Yeah, we have the five of cups here. They're um, getting out of mental um, conflict here, but they're still crying over spilled milk. Whoever this person is, I'm seeing like they, um, they want equal give and take with you uh, now. I'm glad they didn't have this in the past. I'm glad like they did something to go through karma. All right. Yeah, I'm not. Now the person is calling out your name. Something with the sun card. They view is this. All right. The sun, the highest card. They could have a son or daughter with them. or kids with them. Don't have to. Or they could have some. I'm getting like this person is just fucking childish, immature, emotionally. I'm seeing they're pretty pension and also they're very sneaky too. They could have been doing somebody else that you didn't know about. You're gonna figure figure this out. All right, I'm seeing with the full card, you have a new beginning for you. And also with the Knight of Cups, excuse me, Knight of Pentacles reverse. Do not visit this person. Do not reach back out to them, all right? Or if they reach back to you, out to you, don't say anything. But we have the Privileged Lady card here. These are two um, bonus cards. So the Privileged Lady and the Sudden Wealth. I'm going to read these in unison. All right, so let's get some cards on these, all right? We have 777. Seven, seven. So they could like Batman or Spider-Man. All right, but we have the Ace of Swords reverse. All right, let's see what else is going on. We have the um, strength card of verse, so basically Leo energy. We have the six of swords. So I'm getting like, um, whoever this purpose lady is, she's cutting somebody off or she's cutting something off or cutting back or whatever. And she's not going towards, I'm hearing, conflict. She's taming her ego. And she's also six of swords energy going towards in the beginning here. But this, in the beginning, it includes setting wealth here. I don't know how you play in this Pisces. You could be the lady or this is a lady if you're a man here or whatever. But she is the queen of wands here. She looks very good. She's very feisty. She's overwhelming. She has money, power, respect, energy. Like, you know how you see in the movie and they have money making Mitch? This is her, but in female form. Whoever she is, I'm getting like eight of cups. She had to turn her back on you or turn her back on something here. Or you could have turned your back on them. 
falling off the three of swords of verse. I'm getting like they're going through heartbreak or pain right now. And nine of cups, they have a lot of accomplishments or things. I feel like you're maybe collaborating with this person soon with the, with the devil card in reverse. They could definitely be dealing with the toxic Capricorn here. I'm getting like they're, they're good letting go of their toxic ways here. Or you are. I'm saying, I'm hearing like somebody's going through a, a divine awakening, but I'm seeing with the world card of verse. She may have a bad name or connotation to her. I'm getting like, um, who this privileged lady is. I'm getting like people view her as one way, people view her as the other way. Yeah, but I'm getting like there's an indecision or indecisive mode or something she's not saying she's take the blindfold off here yeah i'm seeing seven cups of verse she picked the wrong options the wrong i'm sorry about to bite the hand and feast them or bite her two kings here this is um king of swords and a king of um pentacles okay earth sign energy and um air sign energy all right last card here but I do have to pay this for somebody's definitely talking shit about her or you're on her mind she's talking about you or you will definitely be talking to her soon here or somebody's talking about her or she's in some type of I don't know somebody's talking about her around you here but I'm seeing the king of wands here you're the king of wands or I'm getting like there's a king of wands here I'm getting like they're a perfect match yeah we have the four of wands of verse I'm getting something's not clicking here there's something not being said or something's not clicking or emotional manipulation things going on here all right all in all, this third party energy interfering. This, there's somebody here who has a word in their hand here. I'm seeing they're blocking off communication to other people in comics and night of wine energies. All right, who are promiscuous or in and out. I'm seeing they're rushing towards you here, Pisces, and to put their burdens down. I'm gonna after they put their burdens down, we have the two cups. It's gonna be like a lover, this could be like a union or something like that. And then all in all, we have the star card, could be an Aquarius. All right, well, I'm getting like this person here is a star. I feel like you're a fucking star here. You guys want to be stars together? I don't know. That's what's going on there. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put these cards down. Put these cards down. Now we're going to go into the Truth Rising deck here. This may or may not resonate. This may be a totally different message. All right, but like this video, comment down below if it resonates for you in any way, shape, or form. All right. Somebody can eat Taco Bell. They just ate Taco Bell. All right. Then I have a song by Erica Badu playing called um, On and On, all right? All right, Pisces, let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, we're going to go back into these energies here, Pisces. All right, so we have the number 35 here. Talk about your pathway. Let's get some Truth Rising cards on that, okay? Let's get some cards on the 35 card here, all right? So on your pathway, somebody could have PTSD or you could have got PTSD from your pathway. This was your path here, but I'm getting it was worth it. Okay, I'm in from the fire sign. Excuse me, you guys. It was your Sagittarius. I'm getting like there's one around you who has this. Or they're on your pathway. They have PTSD. I'm getting they're playing fire with fire. Somebody, not to be fire sign, but somebody playing with fire, fire, playing in your energy. They're about to get burned here. They're about to get handled. They could like sports or play sports before. Or they could play soccer here or watch sports or whatever. Oh, shit. What card is this? But all in all, somebody's very disrespectful here. This person is very disrespectful. They're playing fire with fire here, Pisces. All right. Yeah, not knowing to take care of their health here. Okay, or well, I'm getting like this is on your pathway here. Whoever it is, they're crying for help or they're crying out for you. Okay. Person could definitely be like have COVID. They could be sick. They could have like illness like diabetes or a broken leg, broken hip, or been in surgery before, anything like that. I broke something before. Alright. But I have the number 22 card. Talk about your official person. Let's see what's going on for this official person here. Alright. So what is first person they can't see, clearly see through the situation here or you or vice versa but someone can't see through the situation all right you know whoever this is they're dealing with a shady ass female or i'm getting like um there's a shady ass female here but i'm getting they're manifesting i'm getting like this could be somebody who they can't i'm getting like a shady female okay this is what i'm getting a shady female here is making it so a masculine cannot see through um something all right and there's somebody manifesting this masculine and it could be their person here or your official person. Or um, I'm getting like the shady ass female who's manifesting something or manifesting somebody cannot see through or visibly or see through a situation here. All right. Also, I'm getting a stable woman who has together who could be manifesting you in if you're masking here or feminine. I'm getting like whoever this stable woman is, they could be a little egotistical or dealing with somebody who's egotistical here who has a lot of chaos in their family or vice versa. Okay. And also, I'm seeing you need to release self judgment. If you are bipolar or ADHD or whatever, just release self judgment if you have any of these. All right. Yeah, I'm getting like somebody's a catfish, somebody who's not, who's, um, I'm getting they're not who they think you are. We have these same disorders as you, but you have these. Anyways, we have the journey card here, which is the number 10 Pisces. Let's see what's going on with your journey here. All right. When your journey is a she devil, malicious, or spiteful woman, it could be a Capricorn. It um, does not have to be. But whoever this woman is, let's see what's going on with, with this woman. Who is a she devil? 
What if she devil is? I'm getting like she's inconspicuous, okay? She's not clearly visibly um visible or attracting attention. And it's so funny on the card here, you can barely see these people. Like you can barely see them, okay? Yeah, but who this, whoever this is, they're dealing with past life karma. They were one of your past life karmics here. All right, and this person trying to set you up, okay? Or they have already. When I think it sets you up, it could be dangerously, like, set you up to get hurt or I'm going to set you up, like, lie to you, deceive you, whatever, to set you up for the okie doke, okay? Let's see what's going on in your journey. Also, in your journey here, I'm getting like you're planning a secret escape here. Somebody's planning a secret escape to come towards you. All right, this person could definitely be a smoker. They were a smoker in their past here, Pisces. But whoever this is, yeah, they're very judgmental here. You can feel like they're very judgmental. They view you like this, okay? That's when at least they're dealing with energy vampires here who are telling you to have troops here. Or this is this person, okay? Or they could be a, this could be an energy vampire who's telling you to have troops here, all right? This energy vampire, whoever they is, they're in competition with you secretly here. Or they're competing with you, all right? Or see you as competitive on your path. Also, we have this mature woman here, the number six here. She could be a spiritual narcissist, but let's see what's going on with this mature woman, all right? Hold on. Whoever this mature woman is, Pisces, I'm getting she's a diva, a female version of a, a hustler. She could definitely be a um, Aries, because Mariah Carey is the Aries. But I'm getting whoever she is, she has lustful sexual vampires. Somebody is sending this person to you guys. I would sexually drain you of everything that you have sexually. Okay, I'm um, getting like drain you everything but using sex as a conduit. Okay. Also, um, somebody definitely needs a pap smear here. Okay, I'm um, getting like you could have broke free from this communication. Somebody here who needs one is definitely doubling back to you, or somebody was dealing with somebody like that. As mature woman was, or vice versa. Also, I'm getting like you smudge your energy from these people. All right, Pisces. All right, yeah. Also, there's somebody here who I'm getting like, they're always crying, they're a hot mess, so they always got some shit going on here, they're very drama through or messy, they always play telephone or whatever, but whoever this person is, they're watching you level up, okay, man, a female, they're watching your life change for the better here, or they could be crying about this, I'm getting like, whoever this is, they're trying to tap into your energy, but you guys definitely did have a strictly sexual um, connection here, or they could have classified it as this, I'm getting a mature woman watching all this go down, or the mature woman sent this one person here and it didn't work out, so I'm getting like, this other person here they tried to send, or I'm getting the other person here, I don't know, it was just very interesting here but i'm seeing you have your guard up you need to have your guards up here because somebody's sending you the evil eye make sure you guys have your protection jewelry and things of that nature here pisces all right because whoo child the ghetto yeah the single woman who's a non-committal type sending you the evil eye man or female this could be this mature woman okay yeah whoever this is i'm getting there's something sketchy off about them here they could be plotting on you they could be an earth sign capricorn virgo taurus i'm seeing like you need a long time okay hermit hermit car virgo energy they need a long time from you because they made a bad deal concerning you or against you yeah. All in all, I'm getting like this person here is used to living a fancy lifestyle, or you are. But I'm getting like there's an insatiable female here who's all never satisfied or wanting more here. She wants to live the good life here. I'm getting she's overworked or vice versa if you're a female. But I have the Mac Miller song called Jet Fuel here. I love Mac Miller. R. P. to him. All right, but we have the number 29 here, which talks about um, imprisonment, spiritual jail, physical jail, imprisonment. Let's see what's going on with imprisonment. Somebody definitely has, somebody's in prison here by a karmic, dangerous karmic ties, so this is you. Somebody's in, in prison by their um, materialistic needs or whatever, all right? Somebody's, whoever it is who's in jail, spiritual, physical jail, whoever they're trying to come back around, that's what that's what they're, that's what's going on, but they want to have a relationship with you. I'm getting like somebody here who wants to have a relationship with you, but I'm getting like somebody's in spiritual, physical jail for trying to stop this from going on here, okay? Whoever this person is, they could have, they could be a little more materialistic or they have dangerous karmic ties, but they want to have a relationship with you, all right? And they definitely want a second chance with you here, all right? Even if things didn't end, end, end badly, they still want a second chance, all right? Yeah, I'm getting like some fake-ass news going on about this person. There's some type of fake news going on. I'm feeling some girls about to come up, or they are, okay? Oh, no, the person needs to get rid of their ex here, or ex that talks people in their life here, or this is you. But they have a lot of unwanted opinions here, or you do, all right? Oh, no, we have the number 12 and the number 11 card, which talks about studying wealth, all right? So let's go into these bonus cards. So let's go to these cards from these bonus cards. I'm getting like somebody's hacking your energy. Somebody's trying to hack into your money. Try to get in where they fit in here. It could be the privileged lady somebody de they're dealing with. I, mean, I have the burnout card. They could be going into burnout or I'm getting burnout mode. Somebody's trying to burn them out or burn out their pockets here. I'm getting financial abuse here or vice versa. Also, I'm getting like there's somebody who, who's coming. All right, it's from burnout energy. They're coming. They're burned out. This person's coming towards the privileged lady. All right, or to get this um, great fortune setting wealth or whatever. All right, this could be a new love interest, angry person, or a new love, either on your side, their side. All right, take it high as nice. Also, this person could definitely have to test who they like to gamble or drink. All right, but I'm seeing Pisces, they have a same sex love here. Either the female does or the man does. But somebody who's a hustle, who always has to going on, they're getting either black magic on them or they're doing the black magic. All right, on this privileged lady, but she's a strong female who's been through a lot. 
all no, she knows how to let your spirit here. Okay, all oh, they this person does them. All right, but all oh, no, this person has PTSD here. They have a war mind. Um, like they could be in the military, not somebody in their family or whatever. All right, or well, parent was, but this person is definitely your soulmate here. There's a soulmate connection. This person definitely obsessed with you, or you obsessed with them. All right, but I'm getting like, very temperamental here. I'm getting like they're very triggered here. All right, but they're always jumping to conclusions. Or this person is in their fucking psycho. The person who they're dealing with here, who's temperamental, jumps to conclusions. They're a psycho. Whoever this person's dangerous karmic ties are. All right, but this um, privileged lady, people might view her as a perfectionist here. All right, but I feel like um, you're a stable man who has shit together. You're a stable woman. I'm getting like somebody's karma has come. Somebody's going through karma here. I'm getting like the karma. Their karma is to have a stable man who has their shit together here because they've been abused before or they didn't want to do an abusing or i'm getting they've been abused before by that psycho who's always drunk okay but yeah i'm seeing they're looking about to change here i don't know what this has to do with you but i don't know spirit is telling me to tell y'all yeah, i'm seeing like this person could be avoiding you or you're avoiding them vice versa all right but i'm seeing this person definitely wants your forgiveness here but he the red flags or they or vice versa you may want theirs but i'm seeing the grass is not greener here somebody's power hungry and somebody broke a promise to somebody for a narcissist here and switched up or they could switch up on you or vice versa or this per this lady all right but somebody's not going to be seen here the succubus energy all right but that's what's going on there what card is this yeah somebody it goes to the extreme for attention here i'm seeing this person shedding their old layers here not this not the privileged lady but whoever these other people are okay but this is what's currently going on here all right yeah yeah anyways i'm gonna go ahead and get some um brown cards here and i'm gonna end the reading if i can find them. here they are so let's go ahead and get some cards here. Let's get some of these. Let's get seven cards. I like spirit. So Pisces, let's see what's going on here. Let's get seven cards for the Pisces here. Seven cards for the Pisces. So the first card, it says nurture your close relationships. All right. It says soulmate. So this keeps coming out. All right, Pisces. Mm. Oh, that's too many cards. One at a time. So what's going on here, Pisces? I have called an old friend, a family member, or I'm getting like, if you're worried about them, your old friends, the old family members are with you now, watching over top of you. All right, what card is this? It says you are a successful, successful person, or you will be, or you will be with this other person here, this privileged lady, and it says you must increase your awareness or intuition at this time here, all right, or it is being increased. We also have make room for something or somebody new. All right. And one last card here before I end it on 12 12 and it says he or she loves you okay so whoever's privileged lady or somebody loves you all right but on this side it says your third eye is blocked all right and on this side it says you will receive a large cash deposit soon I cut it and it's as fun as in your future all right but it is um actually almost 12 12 or when i see this on 12 11 all right but um, i'm gonna end this reading on this note here guys if you did love this reading comment down below tip your girl on the way in on the way out my cash shop is down below but i will see you guys later go ahead and share this video with any other pisces placements but bye